Hey guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome! It's so lovely to have you here. I have a bunch of goodies on all things Ayurveda, spirituality, and shifting your mindset. So today I want to talk about absorption. This is a bit of an epidemic in this day and age. We are not absorbing our water and our minerals and our nutrients very well. What happens is we get prescribed or we take executive action on our health and we think I'm going to take all these vitamins and I'm going to boost my health by taking this probiotic or blah 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 and we end up taking a bunch of stuff that we hope to boost or power up our digestion, our immune system or flush out toxins. But the thing is if we are not absorbing, which majority of us aren't doing that well, then all of those goodies that we're taking in are just going straight through and straight out again. They're not being absorbed into minerals and nutrients, or they're not being absorbed in as your water intake and helping flush your system. So what needs to happen is we need to be boosting and ramping up our absorption levels so we can start actually extracting all the goodies from all the beautiful rich and plant-based foods we're eating and all the water that we are ingesting. So number one, we need to start drinking more water. Now for somebody who doesn't absorb well, this could be a really taxing thing because already they're peeing a lot because they're not absorbing the water, it's just going straight through them. But there are fantastic little tricks to start implementing to get your absorption levels up. Now that is, you need to be sipping throughout the day. So get yourself a nice big jar of water or a big, like if you're traveling or working, you can get your nice big self, a nice canister, right? I mean, I call it canister, I don't know why, but it's like, like a jar, a glass jar. Anyways, you can measure how much you're drinking by that bottle. So if you needed to take two of those to get to your two liters or your 1.5, then you do that. But you make sure that you're sipping throughout the day, not chugging it back. If you're chugging it back, you're going to be flooding your system, which is doing nothing for your digestion. It's only making everything more swampy down there. So you want to be sipping and you want to be doing that at room temperature to warm water. Never cold guys, never cold. You know this by now. <laughs> cold water stagnates as well, doesn't do anything good for your digestion. So we want that room temperature water sipping throughout the day and I like to add coriander seeds because they're amazing. Basically they're very cooling, they're calming, they're very calming on the nervous system, settling, they take out the, that pitta aggravation and they also help with pitta type headaches. So there's temple headaches, there's frontal lobes, there's the bashing headaches. Get some coriander seeds in your water and you'll start to see that dissipate. Also, I've got some lovely bits of ginger. Ginger are fantastic for helping boost your absorption levels. Ginger can be wonderful if you experience nauseousness, IBS problems, bloating and all of that. So if you're experiencing that real horrible gassiness, chuck some ginger into your water and notice the difference. Cooking with it just is great. And the other beautiful thing about ginger is that it actually digests armor. So it digests the toxins, so it's helping pull them out and break them down and flush them out. So that's what we want. I may as well just do a whole new video on ginger. Okay, I'll stop there. Second step is you want to be waking up and drinking a good glass of warm to hot water with ginger or lemon if you like every morning first thing. Flushing your system is key to eradicating all those toxins out of the body and starting having a fresh slate every day. How cool is that? Drinking coffee is like your body will be going ah! and doing this because coffee is diuretic and it's killing your insides when you do it without any flushing of the system first. Okay, so we want to be getting that lovely glass of water in and that will be a treat. I also like to add a little bit of turmeric sometimes but depending on your body type and where you're at it could be quite heating so I've actually taken that out of my diet because I have a bit too much, it's a bit too heating for me right now and I just need things that are gentle. It is gentle. 
I don't ever want to rat on turmeric. I just love turmeric so much. So just take that with me. We also want to be making sure that we are tongue scraping, getting all those toxins off. Okay, I've talked about tongue scraping as well, but tongue scraping will help re uh, ignite all of that goodies in your system and will help flush the toxins because they come out because we're detoxifying during the night, during our sleep time, they all pop up on your tongue and we want to get those baddies off. That is another fantastic way to help boost that absorption level. Then what we need to be doing is making sure that when we're drinking, we're doing it either sitting down or just chill. So it's just the same when, when you eat food, guys. You make sure that you're not doing it in a stress way. Another very, very key tool to take is to make sure that you drink half an hour before your meals and you sip during your meals but you don't drink anything for 20 minutes to half an hour after your meal. If you drink straight after your meals, your digestion is going to get super sluggish, bloated and it's not going to be very nice and it's going to, it's basically all your enzymes are there working break down your food when you put water in it's just think of that swamp again <laughs> it just makes it really hard for your body to extract all the nutrients and goodies and do its job so give it a helping hand avoid drinking water straight after meals and then you will see an awesome difference I cringe every time I watch American movies where they've always got a big glass of ice water at the dinner table. I'm just, I just want to throw things at the TV because it's the worst thing you can do. Now if you think you're dehydrated and you're not getting enough water and then you're forgetting, there are some really cool ways to check if you are. Firstly, your pee will be coloured. You don't really want your pee to be coloured, especially during the day. You want it to be showing that it's clear. Also, you can check with your fingernails by pressing them and if the blood takes a while to come back up, then you know you're dehydrated. Another way is to check if maybe if you're a little bit anemic and you're a bit low, you can check under the eyes and they'll be a bit lighter. And if they're lighter and not reddish and kind of pinkish plump, then you know that there are some deficiencies there. So we want to boost it there too by bringing that water consumption up absorption levels up just feeling awesome. Now probiotics are brilliant. I rate them and I do think that if you are wanting to build your digestion that you do start taking the refrigerator kind of probiotics. They are great gut bacteria health. You can also do that with other natural ways. Depending on your body type you can bring in kombuchas and apple cider vinegar and all those lovely treats but you really have to be careful that it's not going to aggravate your body type and what's going on with the dosha right now. So I would check in with an Ayurvedic practitioner or do some research and just see how that's feeling with you because for one person it would be awesome to have that little drink of kombucha every now and then but for others it would be really heavy and too much and aggravating. The other beautiful tip is to make sure that you're eating the right foods for your client. So if it's summer and it's super hot, you can get in those raw salads and it's going to be really nice and tasty for your digestion. If on the other hand you're in fall or winter and it's cold, you want to be eating those warming foods. You want to be getting in that nourishment and you want to be helping your digestion out by having cooked foods. This is overall across the board too. If you're feeling like your digestion is super weak or you're getting bloating and gassy, you want to be eat, tending to eat more cooked foods so that you're not putting pressure on your digestive, digestive system to break that down and get out all the goodies. So those are some of the tips that you can use to start boosting your absorption because that's really key in helping you ignite the fire of your belly and your digestion. Um, ugh, let's fly. And if you have any other tips on how to, how to boost your absorption and boost your digestive fire, I would love to hear them. So do put them down below and make sure to like this video if you do or share it with friends and subscribe and have an amazing week. You are fantastic and good luck with getting that water intake into your bellies.
and your tissues and your muscles and things like that. Okay, bye. <laughs>